And even when people think they've gotten over on you or they think that they've hurt you, oh, that's nothing. That is a little scratch. Because the way you're going to rise, the way you're going to come above this, is going to leave a whole bunch of people shook. Not even just your enemies and the Decepticons, okay? But even the people who just tried to overlook you. They, they, they see you. They notice you. Okay? You can throw dirt on my name, won't keep me down. So proud of my selfish stuff. Hello, hello, my chosen ones. How are you doing today? I hope all is well whenever you receive this video. Guys, I want to give you some kind of, um, like, inspiration by this, by these Decepticons and your enemies who you may think have really tried to tear you down to others who have tried to literally tear you apart, pick you apart. And you're wondering, like, how are they able to continue to keep doing this to me? Or why has injustice been served yet? I understand that God's word can never come back void, okay? They're going to get what's coming to them in due time. I came across this scripture, and it is Psalms 35, 26. And it says, May those who rejoice at my troubles be humiliated in disgrace. May those who triumph over me be covered with shame and dishonor. Okay? Now, those are powerful words, okay? We, you know, this is from David. God is not going to allow your enemies, okay, these Decepticons, again, no matter who they are, where they're from, He's not going to allow them to just make false witnesses against His own. Okay? And the sad thing is, it's the religious, it's mostly like religious people or people who claim to have some sort of relationship with God who goes around and tears down, causes division, lies, deceit. It is, it's absolutely sickening. And it will not go unpunished. It is a promise. And God will never go back on his promises. He's not like man, okay? One of my favorite scriptures is Numbers 23, 19. And it is because God is promising you that he is nothing like man. Okay? That he never sins. Therefore, he doesn't have to repent. When God promises something, he's going to deliver it. Your enemies, those people who may not even... They might not even really feel like they're your enemy, but they have some sort of disliking towards you. They see you as a threat, competition, maybe even fearful of you, you know? And so they make up, they, they have to come up with something, okay? They have to try to come up with something in their minds, okay? Because it's literally something that's in their heads. And it's because they have demons torturing their, their mind and their soul. It's that demon that has taken over them. And so they have to spend every waking moment thinking of plotting, gossiping, slandering, trying to find a way to bring you down. God is saying, I'm telling you, he is not going to allow them to get away with it. He never does. And again, even though David did the things that he did, okay, we, we've all sinned. We all fall short to the glory of God, but guess what? God still loves us. Regardless of what has happened in your life, when God has chosen you, when you have God, when you have the attributes of God in you, you are walking in your purpose, in your light, that bright, beautiful light that we all have chosen ones. God's going to rescue you from all types of trouble because understand that because of spiritual warfare, these demonic entities, they can smell you out, see you out miles away. Okay? Miles and miles and miles away. And they can try hard, you know, they can try to do so many things. Some some Decepticons can think because they take certain things away from you, you're going to crumble. Or if they go and tell a certain amount of people and the, and the people jump on the dumb bandwagon train, that that's supposed to tear your spirit down. 
you will not break the chosen one's soul, sweetheart, okay? And I don't even want to say sweetheart. Demons. If you're trying to continuously bring someone down and you have false accusations of that, there's nothing good within you. And it's such an insult and a slap in God's face for you to claim to have any type of relationship with them when you're doing the complete opposite of what God would do. But again, chosen ones, they will be humiliated, like the scripture is saying, they will be a disgrace. You may not ever know, but just understand it's going to happen. And when it do, they're going to think. Because remember, as we all know, they're still watching, of course. They're obsessed. So they're going to think back and they're going to be like, wow. Why are these bad things happening to me? Why am I going through this and that? They're going to remember. And the same way that you do others is going to be done to you. The laws of the universe is going to prove it every time. What you put out there, you're going to get back. What you sow, you shall reap. So leave it to God. God is not going to allow you to be dragged through the mud and pushed down the hill and you're just wondering, God, where are you at? Where are you at? No. That's never happened. It's never going to happen. I'm telling you that right now. And even when people think they've gotten over on you or they think that they've hurt you, oh, that's nothing. That is a little scratch. Because the way you're going to rise, the way you're going to come above this, is going to leave a whole bunch of people shook. Not even just your enemies and the Decepticons, okay? But even the people who just tried to overlook you. They, they, they see you. They notice you. Okay? So, I'm going to close this out here, guys. But again, it says, he also says in Psalms 24, he says, God, you give me justice. Don't let my enemies laugh about me and my troubles. Don't let them say, look, we got what we wanted. Now we will eat him alive. That is what these Decepticons want to do. Okay, They want to eat you alive. They want to see you fail miserably. But God's not going to allow it. He is not going to have that happen. He's going to rescue you every time. You might got to go through a little bit of stubble. Okay, But we built for this life. We got this. And it's hard. It's not fair. It's, it, it sucks sometimes. I get it. But remember, and I'm always going to remind you guys over and over, the kingdom of God is within you. You can do and be anything you want to be. The only way you're going to allow your enemies to triumph over you is if you allow it. If you give them that power. I took my power back. I took my power back from every single last one of them. Okay? And I'm going to make a separate video on that, on how to take back your power, okay? Take back what the devil stole from you. Take back from what these fake Decepticons, these fake people, what they was going to do to you. You're going to take it back. Okay? Because your identity is found in God. It is not found in man or with their thoughts of you. Let them think whatever. Let them judge you. Because that same judgment will even worse going to fall on their heads. I don't judge people no more. I used to fall in that camp when I was extra religious. I don't judge people no more. I let people live and be who they are. That God calls me to love you, not to judge you. And I used to think that was so irritating, but I get it now because I understand the laws of the universe. Leave it up to God, okay? So, I'm going to leave this here. I love each and every last one of you beautiful souls. God loves you more. You are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. Okay? God got you. God got you. Okay? I'm going to start saying that throughout every video. God got you. You are okay. Whatever you are going through is not your final destination. Understand that. Believe it. Know it. Say it. Say it right now while you're watching this. Wherever I'm at right now, it is not my final destination. God has a plan for my life. God has a purpose for me to prosper, for me to be much better than what I am. Like the great I am, God lives within us. We will never fail. I love you, chosen ones. I'll be back in the next video. Take care.